You'd think that with the beautiful photographs that we have of our round blue planet, it would convince any doubters. But there are still some who insist that the world is flat. Correspondent Mariana Vanzella discovers more about this fast-growing movement in California. That's the famous blue marble that everybody's seen. Well, let me tell you something about that famous shot. It's not a photo at all, man. It was made in Photoshop. Cause there ain't no photographs, but somebody tell me why. They're all just photos. I'm Mariana Van Zeller, and I'm in Southern California to look into a growing movement in America. People who claim the Earth is flat. They call themselves the Flat Earthers, and we're here to try to understand what's behind this unconventional view and how it can affect the rest of us. So what's happening here today? Why are you here? This matters to me. Flat Earth shows you that you are not a mistake and you were uh, created and so you have meaning and you matter to the world. You know? We're not monkeys floating through space on a ball as an accident. It's not testable, it's not measurable, it's not provable, it's not real. Right. How old are you guys, just out of curiosity? 27. Do you think it's a growing movement? Yes. And we're networking, we're getting stronger, people are realizing it, it's coming out in the media. You're hearing the, the term flat earth, it's becoming more normal, people uh -huh. are more open-minded to it. He's not wrong. A recent survey of Americans found that 2% believe the earth is flat. For the U.S. population as a whole, that works out to be over 6.5 million people. Even high-profile artists and athletes are getting on board. Flat. So I want to try to find Mark Sargent, who's one of the leaders of the Flat Earth community. Nice to see you, man. No, we, we met. Did. We, we did. met at Pasadena. Mark used to design video games and run software trainings. Now, he devotes himself full-time to promoting the Flat Earth. Absolutely. Hi. Hi. We see, with all the attention that you must be Mark Sargent. I am Mark Sargent. Thanks for meeting us here. It's a pleasure to be here. So tell me, what is this movement all about? This movement is about changing the world, literally. You think for the longest time that you live here. But what if it wasn't this? What? if this was just the illusion. Pontius model. Yeah, we're gonna open this thing up. And the reality looks something like this. In a nutshell, you have the North Pole at the center, the continents splayed out organically on the sides. Antarctica has stretched around the entire outer edge like an ice wall. The sun and the moon are very, very small, and the stars are just lights in the sky. A giant planetarium, which means it was built by somebody, someone bigger than us, someone better than us. Do you think it was a god? Not my place to say. Your belief in the Earth being flat flies in the face of hundreds of years. Years of evidence, of scientific evidence that the world is round. Not only that, we have satellite imagery. We have photos from space yes. that prove that the Earth is round. Right. And nobody here believes any of that anymore. Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. So you don't believe that people traveled in space? No. Oh, it's much worse than you know. Okay. Meaning the only reason NASA was founded in 1958 was to keep this thing under wraps as best they could. Why? Maybe they, well, why? Think of the shock waves. If all of a sudden you're telling a civilization that this model, this isn't it anymore, Flat Earth is the last conspiracy anyone ever looks at. Mark and his fellow flat earthers seem to be pretty convinced that the earth is flat and that we've all been lied to for all these years. But I'm interested in knowing what kind of impact this might have, not only for science, but for society at large. So we're heading to meet with an astrophysicist that we hope can answer some of these questions. The universe began about 14 billion years ago in an event that we call the Big Bang. James Bullock is a professor of physics and astronomy at the University of California, Irvine. He specializes in how galaxies form. 
Did you ever think a few years ago that you'd be having this discussion for National Geographic? It's frankly shocking. We've known for 2,000 years, based on observations you can make with your own eyes, that the world is round. But they have all the evidence right in front of them and they still choose not to believe in it. You know, who knows what motivates people from the inside to believe these things? But science is important. Science is valuable. Science saves lives. It makes our lives better and more comfortable. Mm -hmm and it enriches us intellectually. And to question what scientists are saying and suggest that they're part of some massive international global conspiracy, it's really scary. Are they a threat to the work that you do as a scientist? If, say, governments stop funding science because of some kind of anti-science, anti-intellectual uh, feedback they're getting from the populace, that's when it really starts getting dangerous for our civilization. And as the war on science heats up, some Americans are fighting back. We're heading to the largest lake in California to meet the Independent Investigations Group, which is a, a group that essentially debunks paranormal claims. And they want to do a round Earth test, basically a test that will prove that the Earth is not flat, but that it is round. Let's go. We're ready to launch. You ready, Craig? James, how are you? Okay. Okay, so what's Good. happening here right now? Okay, this is the boat base target, it's horizontal stripes. Uh -huh. We're gonna launch a small boat out into the water here with a striped target. Come on, Betty! And as it gets farther and farther out, you'll start to lose the stripes. One way that Aristotle proved 2,000 years ago that the Earth is a sphere was with a boat test very similar to this one. As a boat approaches the horizon, it appears to slowly dip down into the water before disappearing completely. That's got everything to do with the curvature of the Earth. If the planet was flat, the entire boat would remain visible. So it'll be a very visual depiction of the curvature of the Earth. And what's really interesting is that uh, some of the flat earthers, including Mark Sargent, are actually going to be here for this test. They want to see it for themselves. What do you think is going to happen here today? I appreciate a scientific group coming out and trying to do this test. Great. Appreciate the enthusiasm. But cannot work. Cannot work? I'm ready. I'm ready. Bring it up. So it's starting? Yeah. OK, so the test is starting. The test is starting right now. At first, all the stripes are clearly visible. But sure enough, as the boat reaches the horizon, the stripes begin to disappear one by one. It's pretty amazing. You can actually see it pretty clearly with this camera here. And you see that the red stripe that was at the bottom has completely disappeared. And it's now getting closer to sort of the middle uh, green stripe, yeah. that is. So we've lost about one and a half stripes. Right. So this can only happen. Why? Because of the curvature of the Earth. So here's what we're shooting. But Mark Sargent and the other flat earthers have a very different interpretation of the results. So you don't think that what we're seeing is actually real? You think it's because of yeah, heat? Yeah, absolutely heat. Does anyone here on flat earth believe it's a globe? It's still flat. No, it's anyone, a, raise a, a hand. It's not a pair either. This is a demonstration that doesn't change anything oh, for you. Lord, no. Mark, do you really believe this stuff? Tell me the truth. I'm serious. I, I absolutely 100% believe we are not on a globe. We are part of a giant studio set. Uh, all the world's a stage and you're on it. I still don't understand though, like who's gaining from all this, from this large conspiracy? The highest authority, uh, higher than presidents, uh, the super rich, people that are behind the scenes. Remember the first rule of power is stay hidden. So this is for me where I think it gets really dangerous because we're going back into the dark ages, mm -hmm. right? You're essentially perpetuating ignorance by denying science. You know, there's a real life implication in all of this. Science has had its chance and they aren't putting up a defense. I think that Flat Earth could potentially usher in a new golden age or it could usher in an age of chaos. It's easy to dismiss this as just a, a silly theory and unimportant. But the problem is that it's a growing movement in America. More and more young people seem to believe that the world is flat. 
And, you know, it's more than just distrusting government. It's this notion that thousands of years of empirical scientific evidence is now being dismissed as a mere conspiracy. And that's where I think it really starts getting dangerous for all of us.